Yo, peace and love, man. Neighborhood niggas checking in, good in the hood. Yo, I know it's been a long time since I... I wouldn't say a long time, but it's been like at least a month since I dropped the video. And um, it's really because I've been so focused on building my brand on Clubhouse. I've been organically reaching out to a lot of people, um, spreading love and light. You know, we've all been uh, iron sharpening iron, uh, making new relations and learning a lot of lessons as well. Um, <clears throat> and I want to make this video today because I want people to understand what the focus of 2021 really is. All right, so in my perspective, the focus on 2021 is sharpening the mind and building the foundation for the reality that you would like to live in. Now, let's think about it. There have been so many distractions to get you to think about something else. Just last week or this week, we had the people rushing into the Capitol. Then you've had, um, you know, so much other shit going on. Um, you know, they're talking about impeachment, all this crazy shit to get you off track, you know? And the energies are so, like extensive at this point to whereas it's so easy for you to really tap into self and access these abilities that we've all been granted we've been gifted with so like you know it's important that you take the time out to do your research on how to strengthen your mental capacity how to basically strengthen your mind so that you can access things like telepathy or clairvoyance or remote viewing, things like that, because there are all documents out here that state that you can do this. There's a document called Stargate, Operation Stargate, where they tell you that remote viewing is possible. People do this. I have actually, actually know somebody who does this. Whether they're Asian or not, I can't confirm, but the thing is that it's an ability that is within all of us. So what does that mean? That means stop holding yourself back. Don't be afraid or fearful of the things that you are not fully aware of. Now is the time to embrace that and to dive in it so that we can really rise and ascend to the next levels in life. Okay? So the goal 2021, the first goal should be to increase your mental capacity. Whether that just means coming into more knowledge of self, whether that means start practicing certain practices, certain mental practices, you know what I'm saying? Those are those are aspects that you need to get into. Two, this needs to be a year where you, you start utilizing the tools that we have in order to know yourself, know thyself. Okay? So for example, I have a website called Self Knowledge. At selfknowledge.com, I provide indigenous psychology readings. So what is that? That is a reading that basically you can learn all the aspects, functional and dysfunctional, about yourself in each personality. So that, that relates to each planet. So if it's Mercury, that relates to your communication. If it's Venus, that relates to like how you love, your, how you express your relationships. If it's, you know, um, you know what I'm saying? If it's, uh, what is it? Saturn is how you structure, you know, that's how you're structured as a person. If it's Pluto, that's how you transform, you know what I mean? That's, that could be the death or the transformation. That could be what holds you back or what gets you to the next level. So I offer services like that in order for you to understand yourself even on a deeper level. It's important that, you know, you get into astrology, get into human design, get into these, these sciences that we utilize, our people we utilize in order to really know yourself more in depth. Because going to school is not just, an, it's not enough. You know what I'm saying? You're only taught the things outside of you, but you're not really taught what's inside of you. And that is the importance here. So that'd be number two. You know, taking the time out to use the tools in order to better your understanding of self. So get into astrology. You know what I'm saying? Get into human design. Know how, know if you're a manifester, a generator, a manifesting generator. You know what I'm saying? A projector. Notice, no, find out if you are these things, so that way you can be like, okay, this is how I've been operating, but this is how I need to operate. 
It's time to take your life back into your own hands. And the only way to do that is to get knowledge of self. For those of y'all who grew up in a Christian household, you know, in the Bible, it all, you know what I'm saying? Jesus said himself, my people perish for a lack of knowledge. So we be dying because we don't take the time out to know ourselves. That's, it's that simple. Knowledge is the, it's the most powerful tool on this planet. And a lot of times, because we are lacking that, we're just, you know, easily entrapped in whatever type of um, message or whatever type of, you know, system is given to us because we don't know any better. You need in three. This is the third one. This is the biggest one. You got to step out of your beliefs and walk in your knowing. So what does that mean? That doesn't mean to like, you know, step out of your whatever your practice is and to the other. But it means that you need to come even deeper understanding of it and not being like, oh, I believe this. I believe that. No, you need to have a standing foundation in your knowing. See, I'm an Aquarius, so it's in my nature to know. But guess what? We're in the age of Aquarius. So that means that we are in the age of knowing. You see what I'm saying? Ain't no more, I believe, ain't no more none of that. You have to walk in your knowing. That's where the faith comes in because you have faith in the things unseen. So if I don't know, like if I, I know for a fact everything is going to work out for me. But if I can't see how it's going to work out for me, that's where faith comes in because I already know it's going to work. I just don't see how it's going to work, but I know it is. And that's how things operate. That's how your subconscious puts things in place for you to be great, for you to go and reach the next level. But it's important that you start walking into the belief because if you have belief, then that means that you are intent, you are like timid. And it's like when you, when you have the belief aspect, you don't truly know. So you're kind of just hoping things work out, hoping, but you don't have that. You know, it's like a lack of understanding and a lack of faith, in my opinion, you know? We're in an age of knowing now, so there's no more excuses for what you do or don't know because all the tools is out for you to learn. There is no excuse no more. Literally, if you want to learn how to build a table, you can go to YouTube. You know what I'm saying? You don't need to like, you can, if you want to learn how to code, you can go to Udemy and learn how to code. All the stuff is out here for your disposal. It's up to you. Do you want to reach that level or not? You see what I'm saying? And the fourth is what I just did. It's important for us to start breathing. We got to start breathing, all right? Breathe more. Start learning breathing practices. You know what I'm saying? Breathe in through your stomach, up to your chest, and out. In one fluid motion. Okay? It's important that you start doing these things because the breath is life. And, you know, we have the ability to really alter our genetics and alter our state of mind and consciousness through breathing, through breathing practices. If you ever notice, like if you watch Dragon Ball Z and they start powering up, <sighs> you know what I'm saying? They powering up and stuff like that. They breathing. They like yelling all these things. They using the vocal. They using like the, um, the tones that they're screaming out. It's activating them. The breaths, the deep breaths they're taking is empowering them. Using these combinations is what's getting you to the next level. So when you talk about anime and stuff, there's so much truth in it. You have to, every anime you watch, you need to relate it to yourself. You need to be like, okay, so that's what I do. You know what I'm saying? And it's not taken literally all the time, but a lot of times there's like hidden meanings within everything. All right? Um, so that's number four. And number five, I would say to start paying more attention to the numbers, Okay. Start getting and researching gematria. Start researching um, the laws of Mayat, you know, divine mathematics, things like that. Start getting into those aspects of knowing because the numbers is basically numbers are the code or the language of the universe. So, like, I can see 111 and know what that means. I can see 555 and know that things are about to change. You know what I'm saying? So, or I can see 666 and know that I need to reevaluate what I'm thinking. You know, take the time to sit back and really, really evaluate that. You know what I'm saying? So it's important that we take the time out to learn these numbers and these codes and see these sequences and, and ask ourselves, what does it mean? You know what I'm saying? So those are some aspects that I encourage everybody to get into. Um, five aspects. Um, and yeah, that's the goal for 2021, to better ourselves and get to the next level. You feel me? So with that being said... It's Neighborhood Negus. Thank y'all for tuning in.
peace and love. Like I said, check out my website, www.selfknowledge.com. Self spelled with C-E-L-L-P-H. Because we are the cells of this planet, all right? We make this planet roll. So in order for this planet to be great, we got to be great within. You feel me? So like I said, www.selfknowledge. Check me out. Um, peace and love to y'all. Catch me on Clubhouse. Much love.